Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to be starting a whole series of videos on how to deal with that pesky check engine light that won't seem to go off no matter what you do. Maybe you've talked to a couple friends and they say, hey, that's just the way these cars are. Maybe you've even taken it to a professional mechanic or two and they've told you, hey, that's just the way they were made. There's nothing you can really do. Well, I'm here to tell you that's not the case. We can deal with the problem, and there are certain steps that you have to take to methodically check and figure out exactly what's going on. So in this series that we're starting today, I'm going to show you how to make sure that, number one, your ECM is working properly, number two, that your check engine light is working properly, and number three, that we're going to figure out if the problem is intermittent or you've got a hard code, which we can immediately address. So please, if you want to follow the video and follow the series, make sure you subscribe. I got a couple more videos coming out back to back to back that are going to show you exactly what to do. And if you like what you see, make sure you click the like button. This way more people will have access to it. So stay tuned and let's get started. All right, the first thing you should be doing when you have an issue with your check engine light or the performance of your carburetor perform what's called a non-scan diagnostic check. All you need to perform this is the car key and a paper clip. Okay, the first step is simply insert the key, turn the ignition to run, and make sure that you have a steady service engine soon light right here. It should be steady, not flashing. If it is flashing, you've got a problem with one of the wiring circuits leading to the ECM. If it's not on at all, you've either got a bad bulb or the ECM itself is damaged. All right, now that we've established that our ECM is working properly, we're gonna take our handy paper clip and ground the A and B terminals of the diagnostic link. On this particular car, the A and B terminals are the top two on the right hand side. As soon as you ground the test terminals, the first thing should happen is the check engine light should flash a code 12. This will be a one flash, followed by a pause, and then two quick flashes. One, one, two. This code should flash three times and then any additional code stored will flash. In this case, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So in this case, I've also got a code 45 stored, which I believe is a rich exhaust. Code will flash three times. And then once you return to a code 12, which we have now, that's all the code stored in the memory. Okay, now we've completed the first two steps of our check. In step one, we figured out that our ECM is indeed working. In step two, we figured out that we have a code 12, which is what we're supposed to get. And we also saw that we have a code 45. Now, before we move on to the next step, I just wanted to note that if you get a code 51, that's five flashes followed by a pause and one flash, that means that you have a bad PROM chip in your ECM. You need to stop right here and work on that. The PROM chip is the chip that tells the computer exactly what kind of engine, transmission, drivetrain combination you have and what sensors it should be looking at. So if you get a code 51, you need to figure out where your ECM is in the car, open it up, and make sure that PROM chip is fully seated. You then need to read the codes again. If you still get a code 51, you probably have a bad chip. You need to take it out, track down another one for your particular car. If things still don't work and you're still getting a code 51, you have a bad ECM and you need to replace it. Okay, guys, now that we've completed the first two steps of the test, our next step is to figure out whether these codes are intermittent 
in which case it's either an electrical problem or a very special set of circumstances have to be done to trip the code or if it's a hard fault which is on all the time so we're going to disconnect our battery clear out the ecm's memory then we're going to let the car idle for two minutes in drive and see if we get the service engine soon like to come back on all right it's been two minutes the car's been idling in drive we do not have a check engine light on which tells us that our code 45 is intermittent if we did have a check engine light on you would take your paper clip grant your diagnostic terminal and read the code that'll tell you that you have a hard failure it's something that can easily be diagnosed from the driveway but in our case, we have an intermittent failure, which in this case probably means that a special set of circumstances need to be achieved in order to trip the code. So that's it, guys. Just five easy steps to figure out what exactly is going on with your car, why it's not running right, what system's wrong with it. The ECM will tell you if you let it and you know how to figure it out properly. So if you like what you see, please like the video. If you're interested in finding out more, please subscribe. Got another video coming soon about how to properly diagnose an issue with a scan tool. Then after that, we're going to run through a system performance check, which will figure out if our carburetor is actually able to meter the fuel properly. So please subscribe, tune in, and I'll see you next time.